We are currently on week three for patch 10.2 of season three. And I thought today would be a really good time to kind of take a look at the numbers and see what all the DPS rankings are looking like. And I figured this video would be a good time to highlight the new class tuning that is coming for December 5th that is gonna have a lot of buffs and nerfs to your favorite specs. So if you guys like these kind of videos where I go over the data and kind of just highlight everything for you, then please leave a like on this video as well as subscribe to my channel. Okay, so first and foremost, I wanna get this out of the way real quick for everybody so that I don't confuse anyone. We're only gonna be looking at data for the raid and more specifically, heroic. I didn't wanna look at the data for mythic yet because I feel like there's just not that big of a pool of players doing the uh, high-end bosses. And I think for what it's worth right now, looking at the data for heroic is actually a pretty good sample size for the player base. And on top of that, we're only gonna be looking at the 95th percentile because I feel like that is a really good gauge of, you know, you're not looking at 99th percentile and that's like people playing like peak and just kind of doing really funny stuff. And I think that the 95th percentile is just a really good place for a lot of players to strive for. So without further ado, let's take a look at the chart. So this is on Warcraft logs, again, 95th percentile for the raid. As you can see clearly, the major outlier here is Assassination Rogues are just doing crazy DPS right now. That new rework that they got made them incredibly overpowered. And it's kind of funny to see, you know, in my, uh, my tier list video, I talked about Rogues and how, um, you know, I thought that Assassination was probably gonna be the spec to go with for the, the season. And it's kind of nice to see that I was, you know, at least I got something right. So as we go down the list, we take a look at the second in place here and that's Havoc Demon Hunter. This is not surprising to me because again, typically whenever Blizzard does a rework for a spec, that next patch, they're incredibly powerful. So this is just pretty much always the case. And then we got Demo Warlock. Again, they're really good right now. Beast Mastery Hunter in fourth place. And this is mainly because of the new DPS cooldown that BM Hunter's got called Call of the Wild, which is a an incredibly powerful ability and it just makes BM Hunters really good. And anyways, I'm not gonna go over every single one of these. You guys can clearly see where your spec stands. I will say this though, keep in mind that this is probably going to be the week where most people start to get their four piece for the new tier set. So with that being said, I'm thinking that next week is probably going to be a lot different looking than what this, uh, this current chart looks like. And I personally cannot wait for us to get some more data for the mythic kills and start to kind of see because when it comes to the DPS charts from heroic to mythic, things drastically change. So now that we've taken a look and seen where all the DPS specs are as far as hero goes right now, let's take a look at what the recent changes and hotfixes are gonna look like come December 5th. And we'll begin with taking a look at Frost Death Knights. So Frost is getting some pretty big changes here. It looks like with the two piece, the damage of your next Frost Worms Fury is going to be increased by 4% from 5%. So a slight nerf there. And then the effectiveness of Frost Worms Fury is being reduced to 25% from 30%. And then we've got Howling Blast damage being reduced to 10% from 20%. For the four piece, Chill Streak can bounce three additional times from two, and the chance to proc a bonus effect has been increased to 35% from 30%. Chill Streak damage is being increased by 10%, Obliterate damage increased by 8%, Enduring Chill chance to bounce increased to 25% from 20%, and then Piercing Chill damage has been increased to 12% from 10%. So you might be wondering how big of a nerf or buff is this? Well, it looks like for a single target, the Breath build is gonna be getting roughly a four to 5% DPS increase, while the Obliterate build is looking about an 8 to 9% DPS increase. And then for Mythic Plus, Obliterate's about 4%, and then Breath is about a 3.2% increase. So overall, a nice just flat DPS gain across the board for Frost Death Knights. However, personally, I feel like they should have gotten some more AoE buffs there, but that's just my opinion. Restoration Druids are just getting a flat increase to your healing by 3%, and that's not applied to PvP combat, so that's good there. For Augmentation Evokers, it looks like some kind of bug has been fixed here, so Shifting Sands will now properly trigger twice when casting back-to-back -back in power spells with Tip the Scales. Paladins are getting a fixed issue that was causing Retribution Aura to fail to trigger from some abilities. For Priest, they fixed an issue that was preventing the cooldown of Master Spell to be reset when the encounter ends. And then for Shadow Priests, all damage is being increased by 5%, and that's of course not applied to PvP combat. For Assassination Rogues, no, there is no nerf yet. However, I imagine there will be one eventually. For now, they're just fixing an issue that was causing Envenom's buff to persist its attended duration when used on fewer than five combo points. And lastly, for Affliction and Destruction Warlocks, all damage dealt by you and your pet's abilities is being increased by 6%, and that is for both specs there. And that is where we're going to wrap things up for this video. 
Let me know in the comments section what you guys think about the specs as far as the DPS rankings goes right now. Who knows, maybe we can all start guessing how many weeks it's going to take for Assassination to get nerfed. Again, thank you guys so much for watching my video. I'm still solo, and I'll see you in the next one.